I'm going to do the small uh, 12 inch by 12 inch now and I've already made a start on them I've got these two here now which are quite fun already and uh, I'll show you those in just a moment more clearly and they don't take me too long and they're great fun to do because being smaller and the speed that I work now on the larger ones I can whip these out in about 30 minutes depending on uh, and how complicated they are but it's because they're smaller it's also quite fun to explore a bit more with the tones and colours so I'm going to have a go at this one now of the barge on the Thames and play with the light yet again I want to do eight of these to go in with this series um, and then go back to one or two larger ones again I should get that done at this pace so I'm still using that same limited palette of burnt sienna black white and a little bit of uh, yellow oak and that's really all I need on these particular tonal pieces so we'll get straight into this one I'm using filberts again at the moment for this and we want to get these mid-tones here and we're playing between the golden yellows uh, light to the warmer uh, more brown uh, greys so let's start with the golden yellows then shall we we'll take some yellow ochre and white straight away and work into the the background here I'll leave just a, a little uh, line for where those um, cables are going later They're nice and quickly lovely brush strokes it would be almost nice to work with a, such a big brush as this when I do the, the bigger ones in the way in scale that is just wipe that out there because for some peculiar reason I picked up a load of yellow ochre on my brush I just wanted pure white then. So a nice light gold going through there and then that's going to come through the windows of the cabin too there. And then I gradually want to go warmer so I'm going to take a little touch of the about sienna and add that in so that we get this sort of effect coming on around it. Blend that down in. Now, this dries very quickly on this board, this MDF, so I don't really have very long to blend these colours together. I want to bring the grey across that yet, make it much greyer down to here. You'll see what I'm doing with these tones in a moment. I'm making the tones very close just here some water in there and we'll use it partly as a glaze to blend the two together. While it's not quite dried out we can still just soften it down again. So we've got the warm and cool greys, the cool grey being just the black and the white. And we've got to start making the background shapes for this next. So take some of that black and add it into the warm. And we'll start to break this stronger, shadowy, distant background shape here that's lurking up behind here and coming up here. And the smoke is coming off that. into the background just by feathering the brush up so gently and we can just give the effect of that smoke and always use our finger if you want to to smooth it down to there we go bring that down to here right through these lighter areas to get the effect of distance there get a bit stronger as it comes down we can get we can uh, add colour over this of course any time we want Try and do them almost in one stroke if we can. Put it away there. Bring it back again. And you see just how quickly we can paint these. And I'm working in exactly the same way as I would if I was actually there. An old ply and air technique that I'm using. So I'm going to make this getting lighter and lighter as I come down. I'm just going to blend it gradually down into here. 
and it virtually disappears of this sunlight glowing through the mist or the fog. Bring that right the way down into to here. Now down here I'm going to go a little bit more blue. So I'm going to take some of my black and add that with some white to that same colour. So it will become a warmer grey down there. Get right down into there. Let's get a good base coat on as quickly as we can. Let those warms come up quite sharp edged. And we've got to go down to the darks again. Not really dark, because we're going to go darker than this yet with the blacks, but down fairly dark. See how quickly this, this technique can work on here. I'm feeling the reflection going on down to there. I'm going to start to bring some of those darks back into here as well. I want to get rid of the white board at first as quickly as I can so I can see one colour compared to another. You can work it just like watercolour, you see, when I'm doing this now you can see if I'm making lighter and darker tones by using the paint much more thinly over the white at the same time as painting heavier paint on the top. All the way down this key here. I'll uh, just show where these darks are going to come for the rails that are going to be in here shortly. Once I got rid of this white the picture should fairly quickly come to life. And just use these few colours to build the whole effect of light. We can make him darker yet when we want to, we'll just get rid of this white at the minute just to uh, establish everything. Quickly reformed a painting just with a few colours and simple tones. Right, I want to start whipping in those really dark posts that are here because it makes such a difference. Because these are really black, I'm using pure black now to show against the, uh, the other colours. If I use my paintbrush end, I can scrape away the paint a bit while I want there. I don't want to do too much of that. Right up to here again. Head of the skipper here. Body. Shoulders coming in there. They should be much further apart so we can really draw those. Right out here somewhere, so I'll redraw that all together that bit. That needs to finish there, so I need to make it a bit lighter coming out of there. Just a moment. And we're well on the way with this picture. Now, I want to come back and start on work with some of the, the lighter colours yet again. And we can mould this with our fingers around here a bit to get the feeling we want. Well, you see how we've worked that now. I need to get uh, lighter with my highlights. I'm going to have to find a brush shortly. Really pick out these lights behind me. Figure in the captain and someone here.
And just by putting in these little highlights we can bring out, give the illusion of the towers and perspective and all sorts of different wonderful things. Counter light, light against dark, dark against light, we can just counter this. And I'm almost ready to come in now with my fine brush. Put a little more work down here. There's these little highlights that can help to make or break pictures. I'm using paint very thinly now because I just want to indicate these letters. I don't want to paint them in great detail. Now, with a thin grey, I need to be able to paint in carefully. Not going to be that easy. Please. Cables. And I'll ghost over these with a bit more white later, just to take them back a bit. And how quickly then we've established that painting. Um, nice little tonal painting and uh, not complicated, just keeping to the basics. I need to lift it forward a bit because we've got some finishing to do at the bottom now. It's very easy to miss bottom edges and things like this. That's nearly the first four finished. One more to do. There we go, I think we've about established that one. So I'm just going to make up a slight glazing of um, the yellow ochre and the, the white. Too much. Just to soften back these here a bit. Become a little bit too strident. And there we are, just in a few colours, a few tones. I think you might be a little bit strong, so I'm just going to very thinly glaze a little bit of a brown glaze over him, just to take him back a bit. I just think he's a little bit too strident there. Just take him back to the effective light a bit, there we go. And then do the same with some of this just slightly. Take a little bit of yellow ochre, just thin it down, and we'll just glaze back the boat a bit from here. And that'll do it. Sign that one and we'll get on to the fourth. But I shan't show you any more because you've seen how quickly I work doing this sort of work now. And uh, I don't really want to spend my time filming. All of this lot. I'll photograph these together and show you them later.
well, that'll do for that wee series then. That's four of them done. Another four to do tomorrow. 